right, we have to talk Tesla. This stock seems to defy the odds and it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. It's had nothing but a lot of bearish theses on it over the history of the company, but look what its stock has done. In fact, let's look at the last five years. This stock has gone up a very impressive 2,415% over the last five years. That's incredible and it's made a lot of people money. It's actually made people millionaires. And so Tesla recently went back up to the $1.2 trillion market cap. Uh, that's the second time it's done it since early November. And Tesla, many didn't think it'd even make it to $1 trillion, And here it is breaking that barrier twice. And so, you know, on January 3rd, Tesla stock jumped up 13% because it broke some very uh, important and impressive quarterly and annual sales. So in 2021, Tesla delivered 936,000 cars, nearly double what it did in 2020. That's very impressive. And for comparison, Toyota and Volkswagen each produced about 10 million cars in 2021 compared to Tesla's 936,000. So they produce about 10 times more, but uh, you know Tesla's growing pretty massively year over year in that aspect. Now let's compare it to some newcomers like Neo and Rivion. Together, those two companies combined delivered fewer than 100,000 electric vehicles. Now compare that to Tesla's 936,000. So just to kind of put some different perspectives there. Now Tesla, is worth more than the next 10 most valuable automakers combined. That just blows your mind. And if you think of this company as just an you know automotive company, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> so Tesla's really just grown their valuation uh, massively and th that's just impressive. So Tesla is expected to deliver 1.5 million vehicles next year this year technically in 2022, which is about half a million more than it did in 2021. And we may finally get the Cybertruck in 2022. This keeps getting pushed out, but it looks pretty promising in 2022, this Cybertruck will be released. So that will be exciting for the company as well and add to its sales. So Elon has a long-term goal of selling 20 million Teslas annually. That is a big goal compared to how, you know, especially Toyota and Volkswagen are now doing 10 million each, he wants to combine that and do 20 million just as one car company. And so in order to do that, you know, he's really going to have to expand production and open up a lot more facilities than what he has now. So right now he has uh, facilities in California, Nevada, China, and two new ones in Austin and Germany. And so for Tesla to be successful, that's going to be a big focus for their future is getting those factories opened up to meet demand. Now, I wanted to just put this out there. Tesla, it gets all the limelight, but all other car companies are basically going electric. You look at Ford, GM, Lucid, Rivian, Neo. You know, these are their the competition to Tesla. And, you know, Tesla is massively, massively valued, much more valuable than these companies combined. And you look at Ford, they have the electric Ford Lightning truck. They have the electric Mustang Mach-E. And all these companies are committed to going full electric within the next five to 10 years. And so, you know, I'm just putting this out there because you have to keep in mind, there has to be some market share that's going to be taken here from Tesla. They can't be just the main player that takes up pretty much everything. So you have to keep that in mind. Also, China's opening two new factories for their own electric vehicle companies in 2022. So there's more competition for Tesla. But despite that, people aren't looking at that. They just keep on buying this stock. So why is Tesla so popular? Well, I think the main reason is Elon Musk. He is the face of this company. He's the owner, CEO. This guy, I think, is just very well liked. He's somebody that you can relate to. He's smart, he's innovative, he's funny. And he just really has run this company very well. So I think he's very integral a very integral part of this company's success. Another reason why Tesla is popular is I think they have sleek looking e electric vehicles. They look really good. And I'm not trying to put down Prius, but you know, early on those things to me weren't good looking cars and they've done, they've made them a lot better looking, but they're still not that car that, oh, I want that car. Where Tesla, you see one driving, you're like, I want one of those. I would drive it. And so they were also the first to market to be successful. And when you're the first to the market in anything and you're successful at it, your company's 
struck gold. And that's what Tesla did. And so they're also popular because they're very innovative. And that's what people are betting on for the future is that Tesla is going to keep on innovating and creating new products outside of their electric vehicles. So that brings me to the last reason why I think they're so popular is they're not just seen as an electric vehicle company. They're also seen as a tech company, an AI company. I mean, this Tesla is becoming more than just an electric vehicle company, and it has been for a long time now. Uh, so those are reasons why they're popular. Now, I want to speak of some current headwinds that they're having. They recently just had 500,000 cars recalled for rear, rear, for rear view malfunctions. Can't say that. Um, and But all car companies have big recalls, so I don't see this as a big issue. There's also some criticism going on right now that's kind of hitting the stock a little bit uh, about Tesla opening up a showroom in a dealership in Xinjiang in China. I hope I said that right. But this is a place where human, right, human rights advocates have accused the Chinese government of abuse against the minorities in that city, as well as, you know, very forced labor practices. And there's just a lot going on there. So Elon hasn't said anything at this point of me recording this video. He's being kind of quiet on this. And he's getting ridiculed from both sides of the aisle politically on the right and the left. And so it'll be interesting to see what happens on you know so when this news kind of came out on january 4th the stock has gone down about four percent so it is hitting it a little bit but i think it'll blow over to be honest um, but it might might have a little bit of some dips due to this but i think these headwinds are nothing that's gonna take this company down or should put any reason for you to sell this company now let's talk about the risks of tesla the you know a big risk not the main risk we're gonna cover the main risk last but the big risk is Tesla is the target of every company out there, not just electric vehicles, but also with like its solar roofing panels. A lot of companies are going after Tesla. They're the main target. They're the, the goal, right, that everyone's trying to, to go after. Uh, also, another risk is Elon Musk himself. Now, he is the face of the company, and I think the risk here is not that, you know, he has had some tweets and, you know, he sold stock, or, you know, last year, a lot of stock, but that didn't really seem to budge the stock price. But I think what could is if somehow he's caught up in some, you know, legal fraud case with the company, that could be detrimental because he is so well known with the company. I think this is a very small, rare chance, but it's just something to put out there. The other risks are of course others taking market share so we mentioned that earlier on i think it's just inevitable tesla cannot be the only successful electric vehicle car company out there long term so there will be some other companies that pop up that will take market share now the number one risk that i see with tesla is they have uh, a company that will be their biggest rival if things come true and that is apple apple is reportedly planning on coming out with its own electric vehicle. And this would be, I think, massively, um, this would put Tesla possibly in a position where it will lose massive market share. And here's why. Apple is has a very integrated business. Their watches, their phones, everything works with each other. It's very sticky. So it already has a huge market share and it can, you know, it could really work with that market share and its customers to be the ones to buy this vehicle because it's already got this sticky business, they might as well buy the Apple car, right? And the other thing is, like Tesla, Apple's a very popular and well-liked company, and it's also a tech company. So these two would be the main two you know, competitors and rivals against each other. And Apple has reportedly, has about 5,000 workers uh, working on this new electric vehicle, uh, that they might be putting out by 2024. So we'll see. But I think that's Tesla's biggest risk in competition is Apple because they actually are a company that has the opportunity to really, really put the pressure on Tesla. And so let's wrap this up with my thoughts. You know, I think Tesla within the next couple of years could reach a $2 trillion market share valuation. I think it's very possible. This company, like I said, it's got massive growth happening now, but the potential for the future is very big. I think it will remain a popular stock and company. Uh, there's nothing that has derailed it yet, and I don't think there's anything that will, even with those two things I mentioned with uh, the Chinese and the recalls. Um, and I think that 
when you buy this company, it is a risk, the stock, unless if you're buying long term. That's where I think the the you know the risk gets drastically reduced because short term this stock is going to be volatile. But long term, it should do very well. Uh, because like I said, it's not just an electric vehicle company, it's also a tech and an AI company, and who knows what else it's going to develop into at this point. But I think Tesla will, will be one of the top, you know, three, four, or five companies in the future. It's getting close to that as, as we speak. Um, some interesting news that I came across is reportedly, allegedly, Apple approached Tesla about a potential merger, and Elon turned it down. He denied it. And so if this is true, that's going to create some tension between these two companies, some intense competition. And with Apple possibly coming out with electric vehicle, it's going to make things very interesting, shall we say, at the least. Now, let's take the opposite example. You have Meta or Facebook and Microsoft. Feta announced, uh, Meta announced, Feta, <laughs> Feta Cheese, Meta announced that they were getting into the metaverse. They're focusing on it. They're the really the first company to really come out and announce that. And they have a good advantage. They have a huge user base. And then Microsoft announced their metaverse as well. And the two ended up partnering, partnering together. And I think that is so smart because they both have huge user bases in two different areas. One's more business. One's more you know personal. And they're going to benefit, I think, together. Where if Tesla and Apple kind of go up against each other, you know, it's going to be a battle and there might, you know, one of them might get hurt at some point pretty, pretty decently based on what one or the other does and the innovation that can potentially happen. So it's just interest, interesting. I wanted to put out there. Um, and then many try to compete with Tesla and they're not successful. So there's a lot of roofing companies that have tried to take some share away from their solar panels for the roofs. And it hasn't really worked as you can see here in this article there's a new company trying to do it so we'll see but it seems like tesla being such a popular name just whatever they get into they're going to take dominance because they're so well known um, i want to tell a quick story about a friend of mine that owned a lot of tesla stock about 10 years ago he decided to um, he let's just say this he was very bullish on tesla he was a huge advocate for tesla but he decided to sell all his stock to use that as a down payment for his home. Mind you, this was about 10 years ago. Look what the stock's done in the last five years. If he would have held on to it, he could have been a millionaire. And that's a very painful thing to see happen. I'm sure he, he thinks about it and dreams about it often, but just, I think the moral of this story is if you're that bullish and, and for, you know, with a company, you have to look long-term. You have to think long-term because something like, with Tesla stock could very well happen depending on you know the variables and the fundamentals and what the future holds. And so I think a lot of people are very short-sighted and I think you have to be long-term thinking when it comes to investing. Um, so I think this stock remains hot in 2022 with a medium risk. And I think if you're buying this stock, you need to buy it for the long-term prospects. You need to do your own research and you need to create your own you know, thesis on what you're buying and why. And so I uh, think that's why you should buy the stock right now is if you're a long-term investor, because I think long-term, this company has great potential to be one of the top three companies in the world someday. But if you're a short-term investor, I don't think this is a stock for you. It will come around and bite you in the you-know-what because it's so volatile right now. It could dip at any point a good 10, 20%. So I just thought I'd put this video out there. Tesla uh, just defies the odds. And here's some thoughts of mine on Tesla, some you know news, some facts. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys are bullish on Tesla, if you own Tesla, or if you think it is highly overvalued and why, and if you're staying away from it. I appreciate you guys. Please subscribe to my channel. It's always good to get a different uh, viewpoint, opinion, and thoughts, and it's free. And so I appreciate uh, my viewers. I've gained some you know subscribers recently so thank you so much i hope i'm adding value and you know something different for you guys and so we'll see you next time on mark's finance and fitness have a great day